Extra Minutes. I think if people had never arrived in Australia, the megafauna would still be around today. I think probably when, when we look at the information we have so far, it's fairly clear that climate was changing at the time um, the megafauna disappeared 40 to 50,000 years ago. But it was also clear that they survived through a lot of harsh climatic periods prior to that, well harsher than what was the climate 50 to 40,000 years ago. So I think if we look at the long term and we think that these animals were around for a million, two million years or so, in fact, megafauna were around for probably about seven or eight million years, they actually evolved in response to increased aridity. They were really well adapted to uh, a drying Australia. And the fact that a lot of these big guys disappear at just the time that people come into Australia, to me, is simply too much of a coincidence to ignore. So I think that even though climate might have been playing an ancillary role, humans, and probably mostly via by, uh, by hunting, was the main driver of the extinctions. But the Aborigines had such a benign effect on the environment, didn't they? I think that... By the time Europeans rolled up in, in Australia, Aborigines did live, you know, basically have the measure of the landscape, you know, and they did live, you know, um, you know, a relatively harmonious um, existence. But if you think about it, 50,000 years ago, when they're arriving in a new land, there are all these giant animals around that you kill one, you can feed your family or several families for a week or two weeks or a month or something like that, then what would you do? I think the problem was because Australia is a very low productivity landscape, you didn't have very high populations of herbivores. So over a long period of time, so let's say 10, 20,000 years, just picking off the odd individual mm. and big animals reproduce slowly, it's going to have an impact on the, on those populations and eventually um, they disappear from this region and they disappear from that region and then eventually they're all gone. So I think, you know, you don't have to... Sometimes it's um, the whole debate's made fairly emotive by um, ma making things sound like, you know, people came in and wrought destruction from one end of the continent mm. from, from the other, but I'm utterly certain it wasn't like that at all. It would have been imperceptible to um, individuals that, uh, individual people that, you know, mm. in 10 or 20,000 years, you know, they were going to wipe out a species.